Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a round of favourites for you guys. Traditionally favourite videos were always very popular on this channel so I thought I'd come back and do a little favourites video because to be honest with you it's the one video that I film that always motivates me to come back and do another because I am a product junkie and I love to share what I'm loving with you guys. Oh my god so you guys are having like a treat. This is like two uploads in the space of 48 hours. Who am I? Uh, I'm actually on, still on vacation from work so I have a lot of time to do these things which I'm enjoying so let's jump right in to the products. Some of these products I used in uh, my last tutorial so if you see them and I'm repeating myself I'm sorry but they are favourites and I have been using them a lot so I'm going to dive straight in. I actually have two mascaras to talk about so I'm going to start with one of the mascaras and this one I did actually use in the last tutorial and that is the Glossy Lash Slick. This is actually a bit of a mess. I don't know how it could get so dirty in the space of 24 hours. This mascara is really, really good. I um, I listened to Fat Mascara podcast. I'm sure you all listened to that podcast as well. I, th I think it was quite an old one actually. And they were talking about the Glossy Lash Slick and how... It was such a good mascara that people were bringing it to makeup artists to ask them to apply it. Um, it's very much a mascara that makes your eyelashes look like your lashes but better. You know that Glossy are very much the brand of natural beauty, millennial beauty, all that jazz. So if you're looking for a mascara that's super volumizing, super lengthening, this isn't it. This is really just about your lashes looking real. It's actually a makeup artist dream because if you're shooting in like HD and you're not using lashes, you want to use the model's lashes, this for me is like the perfect mascara because in my head when I do shoots the first thing I think of is take the excess off the mascara wand because I don't want any sign of clumping. I don't want the photographer to have to go in and retouch. So this for me is a dream and I actually love using it on myself as well because my eyelashes aren't great. So if I just want that little bit of kind of fluff to them, this is the perfect mascara for that. I'm going to go in and talk to you about the second mascara here. We might as well keep the two mascaras on the one go. The second mascara I have is the Unlimited Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. This stuff is amazing. This is the less expensive dupe for the Christian Louboutin mascara that I spoke about a couple of videos back that I absolutely adored. That mascara is something ridiculous like 70 80 pounds. I said that that Christian Louboutin mascara was one of the best mascaras I've used. This is one of the, the best mascaras I've used because it's a close dupe for that mascara. The brush on it is not similar but it's again similar to the glossy one which has the little teeth on it. Sometimes I prefer fibre, sometimes it just, I think it depends on the formula of the mascara. This is volumizing, lengthening, separating. If I was to want a false lash effect with a mascara this is the mascara that I would use and actually a really cool thing that it has is the the wand bends so you know how makeup artists do uh, your makeup and they bend the wand of the spoolie this is the idea behind that to be honest I wouldn't do that on myself but if I was using it on someone else and it was like their mascara or I had just alcohol swabbed it, I probably would bend the wand. But regardless of that kind of gimmicky part of this mascara, this is a fantastic mascara. Especially for a drugstore mascara and I think that L'Oreal always done very good mascaras. I remember falling in love with the Million, Million Lashes, is that what that was called? Yeah, that was an amazing mascara and this is too. I'm going to sidetrack for a while and go into the skincare that I have here because I've got quite a bit of skincare to get through. So let's start off with this. I'm going to show you two products that I think I was the last person in the world to discover. This is the Ordinary AHA 30% Peeling Solution and BHA 2%. This is a 10 minute exfoliating facial. This has changed my life. I don't think I've felt this strongly about a product in such a long time. I was aware of this peeling solution. I was aware of The Ordinary as a company, but I don't, just never really thought about getting into it until I used something. I don't know what it was, so I can't really 
bash it but I used something in my routine that did not agree with me and I developed all of it, especially here and here which was a strange place for me to get texture but I developed all of this texture like these little pimples all over my face here and it was getting to the point where I was picking them and the texture was bad and it was like all on my jawline was really bad and I, I've never really been a big one for having massive outbreaks on my my face like that's not when I have problems with my skin um if I was to get outbreaks it would be like hormonal ones like around my chin or like the odd one but oh my god I was having like five or six at one time and I was like that is not me I need to get rid of this texture so someone um spoke to me about acids and I had never really done acids before and I feel like when I was recommended this and I used it for the first time I was like oh my god I'm now like a skincare junkie I am such a like skincare messiah I know what I'm doing now blah 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 so yeah I love this so you can use it twice a week uh, it does burn if you have anything like little open bits like if you pick your face and then put this on it's going to burn um, but I kind of like the burning sensation I feel like I feel like it's going to work when you wipe this off after 10 minutes it's like the freshest babyest skin comes through and it fights the texture that you're suffering with and I must admit my skin has never been better all thanks to this and the next product that I'm going to show you. So I'm using the Ordinary Peeling Solution twice a week at the minute, but daily, twice a day, I'm using the Pixi Glow Tonic, another product that I was super late to the party with. A lot of people had recommended this to me. I had seen it a lot online. I never had really bought into glycolic acid. I wasn't really clued up on it. So this one is a 5% glycolic acid and exfoliating toner. I think every single human being in the world should use this. This is incredible. I've heard a few people say they don't really get on with it and I've got quite sensitive skin so I wasn't sure like these two kind of strengthy acids were going to um, irritate me but they haven't. They've worked wonders like this is medical skin. Um, so the glow tonic I use in the morning and then at night time before bed and I just use a cotton pad and when you think that you have taken all the dirt and grime off your face with a double cleanse and then you go in with this stuff oh my god you still pick up so much crap out of your pores with the exfoliating toner of the pixie uh, I absolutely adore this and it's made me think that I really want to get into trying more of the pixie range now I used this product in my last tutorial and I'm just really impressed with it. I wasn't when I first got it. This is the Glossy Priming Moisturiser Buildable Hydrating Cream. Now on Glossier's website there was this and there was the richer version of this. I went for the lighter version. I don't know why because I actually do like a richer moisturiser. You guys know that I live for Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. But I wanted something like fresher to put on just before makeup. And the fact that it said priming, I was like, okay, let me try this. So I used it once. I didn't like the smell. I thought it was a bit watery, especially when I'm used to using the, the thicker creams, like the more rich creams. But having said that, I've really like kind of stuck with it and I must admit, every time I put my foundation on top of this stuff, it looks incredible. My skin looks like silk and I do think it's because prepping the skin with this softens. I mean, I actually do my moisturiser and this as you would have seen in my last uh, foundation routine video. If you've not watched it, I'll link it below. But this stuff actually just softens the skin that little bit more and gets it ready for foundation. And actually, I'm going to buy a couple of these for my kit because I think that it's such a general priming moisturiser that even if you had oily skin, dry skin it would just be soft enough and gentle enough to just make your foundation look better and actually I didn't take a, a full thick moisturizer with me when I went on holiday I just took this and do you know what it really done the, the trick and I think it's like 18 pounds and glossy now shipped to the UK which is amazing so if you haven't tried this then uh, and you're looking for something that's quite a gentle moisturizer primer this is perfect Okay, back to makeup. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is another Glossier product and it is the Cloud Paint in the shade Puff. I love this. If you told me like four or five years ago that I would be ranting and raving to you about a cream blush, I'd be like, who? No chance, not me. 
oh my god I love it so much it's strong enough that when you apply it you can still get a nice hint I've not I'm actually not wearing it today but it's strong enough that when you apply it you still see it through your foundation and if you again watch the last tutorial I done you would see this beautiful pink glaze that it gives it's easy to apply it's nice if you've got sun in your face and you want to kind of match up the redness of the sun with a little bit of flush through the center it's a cream blush I like it I apply it with a beauty blender or a stippling brush or if you're in a rush you can do that whole glossy moment of the fingers yeah I just love it and as I said the shade puff I thought might have been a little bit too pink for me but nah love it of course I couldn't do this video today without talking about Stay Naked Foundation. This is the newest foundation from Urban Decay. Okay, so everybody has asked me since I kind of posted it on my social media, um, what's it like, what's the coverage like? Let's just break it down. So this foundation is like no other foundation I could compare it to. Like I couldn't even tell you what it's similar to because the technology in this foundation is so cutting edge and ahead of its time that I, I just don't have anything else in my kit that I could tell you it's similar to. This foundation is a medium buildable coverage. It's vegan, cruelty free of course because it's urban and it comes in 50 shades. But the technology behind this I think is the most impressive part for me. So it's a breathable foundation. It circulates the skin's hydration and oxygen around your face which makes it feel more breathable. Like that just blows my mind. It takes the skin's hydration and oxygen and circulates it around the face. How it does it, don't ask me. I think that's sheer wizardry to be able to claim that about a foundation. As I said, it's breathable as well. It's a real skin matte. I'm wearing it right now. My last video, my foundation routine, I really sheared it out and like had that more natural effect with it. This is a pretty full coverage that I've done with it today. I've not mixed it with any other foundations and that I've simply built the coverage. So if you're thinking to yourself that might be a bit too sheer to me, to be honest with you guys, I think you can really build this up to like all nighter standards. Now, where is it coverage wise between naked skin and all nighter? It sits bang in the middle for me because you can sheet it out to naked skin and you can build it up to just lower than all nighter I would say. So love it so much. It also comes in 50 shades which is amazing. I'm all for inclusive beauty. It has three master tones which are warm, neutral and cool which we're all kind of familiar with in the foundation world but then there's seven undertones with it as well. So my shade that I'm wearing currently is a 40 W why? Which means 40 warm yellow. But for example, there's there's everything from cool pink to olive, cool olive, like green, green undertones. Like it, there is an undertone for everybody. So I think if you already wear an Urban Decay foundation and you want to get this, I would really suggest going and getting matched in store and trying it first and like seeing because to be honest with you, I didn't really match up in what I thought I would in all night and naked skin to this because I wear 5 in those, 5.0, and I'm now wearing a 4. I don't know if that's maybe just because I want something a little bit lighter, it works more for me, but I really suggest trying it before you buy. Um, I spoke about this last product as well in my last uh, video, but this is, I can't rave about it enough, this is the Art Deco All Seasons Bronzer, I even showed you it in the last video, but this just is incredible, especially for someone like me that sits really on the medium scale when they warm up, but I'm fair, like day to day usually, so I can use this half and then just a little bit of the darker shade and the middle shade's kind of like middle ground for blending it. This is just an incredible bronzer. I love the size, I love the packaging. It comes with like a nice big mirror on it as well. It's pretty dirty. But it just, I've got it on today, it just adds warmth. I've got it actually all over my chest as well. It just adds warmth in such a natural way and it really is that all seasons bronzer because when I'm fair I can wear it and when I'm tanned I can wear it. And you know what? Art Deco was such a brand that it was up and coming when I was in store working on beauty counters and then I didn't really hear from it. But recently I've been trying a lot more of their products. They kindly sent me PR and they do some amazing things. They also do a really good mascara that I might talk about in my next favourite video. But I think we shouldn't have been so fast to write off Art Deco because they actually do some pretty amazing stuff. Now, an eyeshadow palette. I feel like I never talk about an eyeshadow palette, palette unless it's an Urban Decay one. But this is the OPV Beauty and this is the Spotlight eyeshadow palette. I am wearing it right 
now all the lilac shades and all the brown shades. Every eyeshadow that I've used today is from this palette. Oh my god, this is so beautiful and you know what, for me that is the right amount of colour and neutral and the colours that are in there are the colours that I would wear. It reminds me slightly of the Born to Run palette by Urban Decay and slightly this section of the first Huda Beauty palette and those are both palettes that I still use day in day out. This company is a London based company, OPV Beauty and I think they've been around for a, a good while now. They've got a big Instagram following now and they were actually one of the first brands that ever sent me PR. They kindly gifted me this palette as well and do you know what? I really enjoyed using this today and the pigment in the eyeshadow was so so good and to be honest with you, I really am a sucker for packaging and I think that they've really upped their game in what they do with packaging now. So you know what, I think I'm going to be using this a lot and I actually really want to try that baby blue shade and I would usually kind of shy away from blues that bright but you know what, I just can't wait to use this. So that is the Spotlight Palette by OPV Beauty. Now, last products are a little bit kind of out there for me. I wouldn't ever talk about a shampoo and my favourites but let me tell you how this has changed my life. I recently went for uh, lunch with my friends who are both hairdressers and they said to me oh how's your head? I suffer from psoriasis as you can probably tell I speak about it in pretty much every single video that I do but my head in particular had really been suffering and let me tell you actually I get trolled for it all the time in videos and it's really not something that I want to be trolled on because it's, it's an insecurity of mine. I don't like it. I've got black hair. If you see flakes of psoriasis in my hair, it's not nice because my hair is so dark. You see it so much more. And I was really recently struggling with my head. And my friend said to me, try and get the Kerastase shampoo that's especially for people that suffer from eczema and psoriasis and flaky scalp. This is the specific... I mean it's all in French isn't it? So it's a cleansing soothing shampoo for sensitive scalp and combination hair. This has changed my life. Kenistaz, I had never ever used Kenistaz shampoo before even though um, I, they had came very highly recommended and I had just all, always kind of overlooked it but oh my god I was like past caring at this point because I tried everything to try and soothe this and I was like let me just pay however much it is to get this Kerastase shampoo. I actually am not chuffed with how big the bottle size is. I think the bottle could be bigger especially because I'm going to obviously be having to replenish it quite a lot but it really has changed my life to the point where I'm not scared to show you my, the top. if you notice my videos I always like chop the top of my head off in case I do get the the flakes and I get trolled for it. I get trolled for it all the time and um, there's one troll in particular that always comes on my Instagram and on my uh, YouTube videos and comments about my flaky scalp but I'm like mate I can't help it. <laughs> I can't swear. Um, but anyway this has changed my life. I ain't got any flakes at the minute so I really do think it's down to this. I have been using it now for a couple of weeks and I've seen a dramatic difference. So if you're like me, you suffer from psoriasis or eczema or dermatitis in your scalp, give this a try because it really changed my scalp game. <laughs> Um, now I'm going to talk about a sunscreen. This is a bit of a weird one for me but I'm going to talk about the Ocean Potion Factor 30. Not exciting to say the least but I always buy Garnier Ombre Solaire, is that, is that what it's called, for holiday and I always go for sprays and aerosol cans and I know that's probably not good but um, I ran out super fat. I never run out of sun cream on holiday. I always make sure I take enough. I always take a 50 for my face, a 30 and a 20 so I can kind of work my way down. Um, and I, we kind of ran out this holiday. I didn't, when we were in Cyprus last year, it was super hot and everyone said to us, Cyprus sun, you really need to be protected. But I didn't get any sort of colour and I didn't, and I, I don't take a tan, but I didn't feel that I was burning or anything like that. So this time around, I never ever have to replenish it and never have to buy anywhere I'm out there. 
but we went through it super fast and to be honest I was getting sick of like shaking the can trying to get some out it being a pain in the ass and I kept saying to my boyfriend I really want to buy just a lotion to apply like I really want to make sure I'm getting all over because there was days where we were burning bad um we were in the Dominican Republic and it was getting up to like 33 some days and when you have Scottish skin that's not okay to be burning that bad um so I had to go to the shop in the Dominican Republic in our hotel and I'd never heard of this brand but it's oxybenzone free reef friendly no added parabens gluten with sea plants and antioxidants sorry and it's water resistant that's what I really wanted because we were in and out of the ocean quite a lot and in and out of the pool constantly because the heat was so bad uh, it says here that it was 14 US dollars as an anti-aging sunblock. Why does it not say in the front that it was an anti-aging? I don't know and I don't I'm not like mega clue I'm like I'm not Caroline Hyden's trying to tell you what's the best uh, SPF to be using but I just loved this and I used quite a lot of it as you can see half the tube is nearly gone and I was putting it on my face and my body and I just loved the fact that it was like a lotion and you know what the smell is so nice and I just I think I just like the name Ocean Potion so I'll always go for this my boyfriend actually got the tanning oil as well and he said he really liked that and he is super super dark I can't do that sort of stuff because my skin is just not there he takes a really good tan I burn so this for me was perfect so if you're looking into sunscreen ocean potion is am amazing last but not least another holiday um, product this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice Edition what's different about this I hear you ask it's smelly so if you like like um, our quick fix prep spray and the coconut scented stuff and then we've got like the cherry setting spray when we brought it out as well this is like summer in a bottle i'm actually just going to spray it right now because it's so hot in here as i said to you it's like coconut and pineapple and summer breeze salt scented it's just basically holiday in a bottle it still does the same 16 hour protection and keeps your makeup locked down i just love the smell of this i know it's limited edition but i kind of wish that we keep it out all the time because the smell is so nice guys that is it for my favorites i was talking quite fast through this video i hope you um could understand it but i just wanted to get through i've got quite a bit and i really do have a lot more favorites that i want to share with you i'm looking at my vanity table right now and there's so many more things i could have spoke about but i think this video would have just been too long so thank you so much for watching today and i hope you're proud of me with the regular content <laughs> Uh, if you haven't subscribed already please do I'm really going to try and get back into YouTube just now and really try and put out as much content as possible thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video